we are going to connect two seemingly unconnected topics. Let us begin in earnest. As a historical quotation based on political realism as opposed to political idealism, where materialism trumps idealism as a political truism. Again, we are not advocating any type of political mayhem or violence. This is educational. Comrade Chairman Mao Zedong said, to paraphrase, political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. End quote. This is reflected throughout the 5,000 years of Chinese political history from long before Marx ever came out of the chute, before he was even born. So what is very important is that the Chinese politics is always based on a, on a realism. You might call it Machiavellian. It has hardly anything to do with left or liberal idealism. A dynasty does not long survive, nor does an emperor long sit upon a throne if they are morally naive. A king that lasts is probably better off as a true clinical psychopath with zero morality. And as, and as I myself have no morality, I surely do not qualify to be some freedom fighter. Let's begin the real topic. Okay, as we prepare to begin the real topic, we have to give the disclosure. This is not our source image. This is the uh, published by the uh, 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 agency of Japan's government. They do not endorse any of our statements or publications, whether in any format, visual, oral, or written. We are using this for our own political education, not political re-education lecture. <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? Okay, we're using this, we, we, we speak entirely for ourselves. We have no affiliation. So what the hell does the, why the image of the buck knives? Basically this is the made in China, made in America, made in Nippon debate. One of the best ways to understand China is to read the statements of the United States military. Don't listen to We're not YouTubers. We have no need to be played. Don't listen to what the Chinese propaganda Communist Party is saying. The best way to understand what's going on with China is to actually listen to the United States military. So as a pivot to this topic, um, this is interesting because the way my theory is that this cultural perception, does China, does China only produce junk? I think in terms of manufacturing, they sell you guys a lot of junk. We're talking about the Americans. They sell you a lot of junk, but they are, they are keeping, they are building really great quality for the tip of the spear. For basically, this to me, if this as a strategy, I'm not saying this is a, I'm not implying this is a conscious strategy, but if it were, it's brilliant. This is, you know, if that's a strategy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna salute the strategy because that's brilliant. We sell you crap but we build lethal quality for ourselves. Um, so in the Machiavellian sense, all right, so if there's taint, if, I'm not saying there is, if there's tainted exported dog food and, you know, somebody's pet dies in America, I'm a psychopath, who cares? Um, but what, in terms of quality, what one cannot afford to be negligent upon, if you can use that term, is military hardware, at least for the units at the tip of the spear. Uh, I can imagine not all units get the best equipment. I can imagine border troops along the China-India border. Maybe they're maybe they're given you know broken ass baseball bats. I don't know. Okay. But in terms of quality, if you listen to what the United States military is saying, yes, they are building very lethal, high quality. Um, in the terms of the Beidou satellite system. I think it might be better than the United States GPS system, that space satellites. Satellite warfare capabilities, including the ability to shoot down their own satellite, were potentially 
an adversary satellite <clears throat> in a hostile engagement. That is documented by the United States military um, to the great concern. These, um, so we have it pivoted to, again, this is not our photo, but basically the Type, 00, type 055 cruiser, heavy, it, I think it's a medium or heavy cruiser. Uh, we, need to, we need to turn on another feature, the mouse feature, to discuss the capabilities. But in terms of if the Chinese were building junk, the United States would dare not say that China is, seems to be ready to meet the perceived requirements of Xi Jinping to be ready for a Taiwan invasion. Okay, so the United States military doesn't do propaganda. They don't have time to basically call another, call an adversary's navy, an origami navy, an origami paper mache air force, an origami army, navy, marine. When you are military staff, you don't have time for propaganda. Not if you intend to win. I enabled the mouse, mouse cursor because I believe uh, this is a Type 55 uh, cruiser. Classify, I believe it's classified as cruiser. What you notice here where my mouse cursor should be visible. I believe these are vertical launch sails. Launch, launch site. So, no, I believe these are vertical launch sails. Um, so you can see this is kind of like a old, to, I kind of see this as an old to the, you know, the, uh, you know, ancient battleship navy, but you know, it's uh, uh, it's not it's not for show. It's uh, you know, basically a deck gun. Uh, I think I think the Type 55 has close-in weapon systems, uh, but basically, I think this thing, this I think this is the most lethal surface combatant on the planet's navy in terms of surface combatants. Uh, it's a highly lethal surface combatant, um, but we're in. In our subsequent, you know, final discussion, you'll see that uh, having the most, the greatest and latest hardware in terms of lethality, um, it is not the end all be all. So we're going to talk about a very interesting analogy. You can have the most souped up ride combined with an idiot driver, or basically kind of like a you know low end stock ride with a highly competent driver, where the highly competent driver can do a whole lot more than the idiot that has, you know, basically, for example, some princeling idiot of some Communist Party official that has a souped-up ride, uh, you know, with the big rims, all the fancy dancing, dancy struts. In the hands of a competent driver, they can do more with less. And an idiot can have the greatest, latest and greatest and most lethal hardware in terms of, you know, in terms of military science, and they can still be utterly incompetent. So the end all be all isn't hard, We're, but let's, let's get to the final analysis. So in summary, China builds very high quality on the strategic matters that matter. This is my opinion. Uh, kawaii, kawaii, kawaii mono, sandwichi, sausage sushi, even non kawaii mono, quality, um, you know, basically bu uh, bushcraft uh, blades, they, they don't win, they don't change the strategic balance power. So the way I see it is that uh, China de definitely gets something right. They are, they are focused on quality on where it matters. Um, but there's a common perception of very low quality because what you see is that you see China mass producing goods for the export market. So you go to some, you know, big chain store, you see, you might buy furniture uh, that breaks apart. Furniture that doesn't even break apart, that doesn't even fit together in the first place because they're machined improperly. So yes, there is, there. I think there is a lot of crap going on, but the key thing is that in terms of the strategic level, China's building quality, and that is def that is concerning to the United States military. Uh, for example, uh, China's banned by—I uh, I don't mean this as a dig at flat Earth—but they're banned by 
the United States from participating in an international space station. So, um, you know, basically banned by banned by the United States government or NASA. Uh, well, NASA cannot uh, cannot cooperate or affiliate with the Chinese agency, to the best of my knowledge. So they have their own space station. China has their own space station. Flat Earthers will say, no, neither America or China has a space station. I can guarantee you China has a space station. Maybe you don't have a space station. I'm not going to do that. If I want to do propaganda, I would say, oh, okay, let, let me do propaganda. You know what? NASA's fake. China's real. No, NASA's real. The Chinese space station is real. So quality word matters. They're, you know, the Beidou satellite system, uh, the alternative to the GPS, operational. Uh, a fully armed and operation. No, I don't want to do a pun of Star Wars. But basically... Um, an operational Chinese space station. That's a, that's an operation. So the Beidou satellite system in operation, a uh, space station in operation, and a massive glistening navy in operation. So this isn't the 1980s navy, the 1990s navy. Uh, the Chinese are building, churning out more lethal, more modern, and more capable surface combatants and undersea combatants, their dolphins, at a much greater rate. In terms of military science, two things matter, both quality, quantity, but there's one thing many people don't always neglect, the human cultural aspect. You may have the best hardware in, ter in both quantity and quality. You may have glistening panther, uh, uh, you know, basically a panther pincer. You know, basically, uh, basically, I'm the, that's World War II. You may have the, you may have both quality and quantity, but naval doctrine matters. Uh, political culture matters. So if you have a navy that's dominated by corruption, you may have the most lethal warships. You may have the most lethal hardware in both quality and quantity, but without a culture of creativity, um, you need General Custer. Okay, without. If you have political officers that make decisions, if you have corrupt people who buy ranks, all that hardware in terms of quality and quantity, that's useless. So I think, I think based on objective military science, in terms of the hardware, the Chinese Navy is at or even above the United States military. But my gut feeling is that the United States Navy has an advantage in strategic mind Thinking. I'm not talking about mind propaganda games, but I believe that the collective experience from the Pacific War, uh, the war with Japan, and all these different wars fought by the United States from Iraq to everywhere, there is there is a collective, um, what do you call this? This collective lessons learned that is passed on as opposed to a Navy that hasn't really fought much wars, that suddenly has the best hardware in the entire club. So, um, I don't want to use a corny analogy, but you might have a great off-roading vehicle, but an incompetent driver. Um, a competent driver can do a lot more with a lesser vehicle than an incompetent idiot driver with the most, with, with the most shiny new systems, you know, the, uh, the custom, uh, basically custom builds, you know, the, the uh, rather than the stock wheels, you know, basically all, you, you might have the most, you might have the shiny made for off-road vehicle, but if, but, but in the hands of an idiot, I, I think it's good for nothing. <laughs> you know, th that's a rescue situation. So, but the main point is that in terms of space, uh, space weaponry, space station, uh, Beidou, the space station, the space program, the actual hard naval hardware, military surface combatants. We're not, so let's get out of military naval doctrine. In terms of the hardware, yes, China's building really advanced, great quality. And if you listen to what the United States, the United States military is saying, it reflects that. So that's not propaganda. The United States military is not going to publish propaganda warning that China is going to be on, uh, at the level ready to invade Taiwan. They're not going to say something like that. They're, but the, the, the U.S. military does, is not going to point to an adversary and call them, you know, a paper mache navy. They're not going to do that. 
Um, so basically, the, the furniture you get that's been made and built, made, built in China could be designed by a foreign company, who knows. But the furniture you get, that is potentially complete shit. That's complete apples and oranges from what the Chinese are building in terms of lethal combatants. I just want to be very clear about that. 